If you're ready to make an offer on a home and want to show the seller that you are serious about your offer, well, there's a way to prove your commitment. This is where earnest money comes into the picture. Stay tuned as we go over this topic. Let's learn about buying a home this year and what it's going to take. As always, we are talking about how important it is that you know about all the aspects of buying a home. Thomas Fang with Bay Area Connect. Today, we'll look at an overview of what earnest money is, how to use it to your advantage when you buy a home, and also how to protect yourself once you deposit it. Earnest money is put down before closing on a home to show that you're a serious buyer, and it's also known as a good faith deposit. Now, when a buyer and seller enter into a purchase agreement, the seller takes the home off the market. If the deal falls through, the seller has to relist the home and start all over again, which could result in a big financial hit. Earnest money protects the seller if the buyer decides to back out. Earnest money is around one to 3% of the purchase price and is held in an escrow account until the deal is complete. The exact amount of the EMD depends on what's customary in your market. And if all goes smoothly, the earnest money is applied to either your down payment or your closing costs. Now, if a deal falls through due to a failed home inspection or any other contingencies listed in the contract, and we'll talk about the contingencies in our next three videos, then the buyer gets to back out and keep their earnest money deposit. For the seller, the practice of depositing earnest money can decrease the likelihood of a buyer placing offers for multiple homes, then walking away after the seller takes the home off the market. Sellers do tend to favor offers with higher earnest money deposits because they wanna make sure that the sale won't fall through. Earnest money isn't always a requirement, but it could be a necessity if you're shopping in a competitive real estate market like the Silicon Valley Bay Area. Sellers tend to favor these good faith deposits because they wanna ensure that the sale won't fall through. Earnest money can act as added insurance for both parties in the transaction. If you're competing with others for the same property, it's in your best interest not to undercut the earnest money deposit amount because you could lose the home to a stronger offer. We will discuss what contingencies are and how they can either protect or hurt you in our next couple of videos. So make sure to look out for those. Please reach out anytime as my team and I are here to help. If you have any questions, please give me a call. 408-840-3852. I'm Thomas Fang with Bay Area Connect and I'm here to provide you with a smarter approach to real estate. If you found this video to be beneficial, please like, comment, and share. And we'll see you guys on the next video.